The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. What's everybody doing? Uh, Why are we running crazy? You know we got a show to do. Hey, Mitchell, be go. Mitchell! Mitchell! Here's what I think it is. We looked it up, and today is actually called Pandemonium Day. It's an, it's an actual holiday on Holiday Insight. So we don't know what's going to happen on the show, but we know it's going to be good. Roll it! From Branson, Missouri, the Christian entertainment capital of the world, it's The Kevin Shorey Show. Taped before a live studio audience at the world famous Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today's special guest, Dawn and Sue Madison. Special music by Kevin Shorey. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Wow, we got our show together, I think, on Pandemonium Day. It's something that's going to just explode today. You know why I know that? Because today, in 1914, liquid rocket fuel was patented. And in 1867, Alfred Nobel demonstrated dynamite. Did you know Alfred Nobel invented dynamite? But he didn't want to go into his grave being known as the inventor of dynamite. So he came up with a Nobel Peace Prize. That's where that comes from. Anyway, all started today on Pandemonium Day, and uh, I don't know if they had Pandemonium in 1867, but it is a national holiday, uh, according to HolidayInsights.com. Hey, it's going to be a great show, and you make it great by helping us every day. I'm hearing squeaking. What? Now, now something's run, run. Jay, Justin, what's what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, am I interrupting? Uh, well, oh, I heard sorry, squeaking. Sorry. You need to get some oil for that uh, globe. Yeah, I'm just looking at the globe here, and I'm thinking, Kevin, we got to reach the world, buddy. We do. I mean, look at all these states, man. All those we states. Gotta, <laughs> yes. You know, if there was some way we could partner with people. Yes. If we just, you know, give them a gift or something. If they partnered, I'm thinking that could work. That is a genius idea. Thank I'm glad you, you said Ke- that. Kevin, we want you can partners. take my advice, buddy. I'm not, I will. I I'm will not take, using it. You can yeah, take I will it. tell you, if I could hand out the Nobel Prize, I would give one to you just for that. You uh, are so right. If you partner with us, we want to add stations. We want to g- grow globally. We want not only to reach the United States, Canada, Mexico, but the world. We want to not our, our continent. By the way, on that globe, it's not states. It's continents. We want to reach every continent. Our generator, because of your donations for the generator, which are now now, $599. We're keeping it there for as long as we can. $599, $499 for the second one, three for $1555. That's three fives. That's triple grace. And uh, you know, all you do is is flip the switch after you powered up with the solar panel and you got lights, you'll have cell phones, you'll have your television on, whatever you need to stay in communication. But we're also asking that you will give the gift of $33 a month for one year to finish out this year. It's not even a year. For the next six months, if you'll do $33 a month, we will send you gifts that that actually uh, are retailed more than $33. But we want to say thank you for partnering with us. We have some major television at one network, which is on DirecTV and Dish Network. That's a big network. I can't I can't mention it, but it has God in its name. Anyway, they want us on their network, but we can't do it without your help. And to say thank you this month, in the month of July, we're sending you this uh, Sacred Silver DVD. This is about the Sacred Silver. This is Dr. Pedersen, who tells you everything you ever want to know about Afraid to Ask, and also his new book. We're the only ones that have the new fighting chance and this DVD of the seminar that was done right here in the studio. And as a bonus, we are adding... This, Made for Praise, our CD, uh, my CD that I did with a live studio audience, and there is all these songs on it. I'm going to sing some when we come back, but let me talk more about this partnership. Uh, Roll it. Galatians 6, 9 and 10 says this, Let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap a harvest if we don't lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. We will not grow weary in promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ here on the Kevin Shorey Show, telling everybody every day Jesus is the answer for the world 
today. Would you help us? It says when you have opportunity, give into the household of faith. Would you help us in promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you will, $33 a month will help us if everyone gets on board. It's a dollar for every year I've been in ministry. If you'll give $33 and pledge every month for the rest of this year without even asking, we'll send you gifts like these. A brand new DVD of Gordon Peterson and giving you all the benefits of silver. He also has his brand new book the fighting chance and we want to send these two things to you with a bonus my praise and worship CD this is July's monthly gift all three of these things send free shipping to you for your pledge of $33 a month you can call today 209-44-KEVIN or you can write P.O. Box 525 Reed Spring Missouri 65737. Go to the website. You can also sign up there at kevinshorey.com. Start and help partner with us. Bless us, it says, as you have opportunity into the household of faith. And if you do this and not lose heart, you will reap a harvest. Thank you, Jay. Yes, we do want to reap a great harvest. I'm going to get to sing today. We have Don and Sue Madison, great, great guests here today, talking about a healthy lifestyle. But I'm going to get to sing a couple songs from the Praise and Worship CD, <laughs> including this one, written by my great friend April Nye Davis. We've come to lift up Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. We've come and lift up Jesus. We've come and lift him up. We've come and lift up Jesus. We've come and lift him up. We've come and lift up Jesus. We've come and lift him up. Come on. We've come and lift up Jesus. We've come and lift him. Come on. Lift him higher. Everybody. We come and lift him up. Lift him higher. Oh, yeah. We come and lift him up. Lift up Jesus. Yeah. We come and lift him up, lift up Jesus, yeah, we come and lift him up, make no mistake, we come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him, him only, we come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up, we come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up, we come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him, come on, lift him higher, yeah, we come and lift him up, lift him higher, Lift him up, lift up Jesus. Hey, we come and lift him up, lift up Jesus. Oh, we come and lift him up. He said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw men to me. He said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw men to me. So lift him just a little higher. We come and lift him up, lift him higher. Come on, we come and lift him up, lift up Jesus. Lift up Jesus, yeah, we come and lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men to me, yeah. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men to me. So lift him just a little higher. We come and lift him up. Lift him higher. Come on. We come and lift him up. Lift up Jesus, yeah. We come and lift him up. Lift up Jesus. praise him every day. The title of the CD says we were made for praise. Ha. So that's what we need to do every day of our life. That's why we were created. Come on, lift him higher every day in your life. Let's praise him all over this place, everywhere you go. Come on, say Lift up Jesus, hey, we come and lift him up. Lift up Jesus wherever you are right now. Let's lift him up, yeah. We come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up. We come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up. We come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up. We come and lift up Jesus, we come and lift him up. Hey, yeah. That's why we were created. Woo, I'm gonna catch my breath. I wanna introduce our guests today. It's Don and Sue Madison. I'm going over here to the talk set. Yeah. 
Hey, thank you for being here. Great to have you here. Thank you for coming. Don, if I could reach it, there it is. Yes, sir, you got a good reach. I like that. Y'all are from this area. You've been on our uh, program before. You came on and uh, we talked about how we could help the, uh, those that needed help in getting food to them and uh, supplying. And are y'all still, uh, grab your microphones, are you still uh, involved in helping those that need food and uh, that are homeless and things? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the commission of God, right? To help people and to be. But right now you're starting, you have a new program that uh, the book now, the book uh, Healthy and Free is what it's called. Yes. And uh, this actually came out of Bill Johnson's church out there in, uh, he's got in California, right? Yes. And uh, this is it, the Healthy and Free by Benny Johnson. Is that, that's his wife, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you know why she started this uh, out there at their church? Uh, just Yes, because her faith was, uh, her faith, her uh, body was starting to deteriorate. She had high blood pressure. She'd gained weight. And yeah. Um, God got I after I can relate, about Benny it. Johnson. <laughs> yes, I can relate. God kind of got after her about it. Yeah. And uh, so she started looking into health and started changing some of the her ways of life, her habits. Yeah. And uh, she accomplished what she set out to do. This is great. Now, so she's sending this to a lot of the churches. A lot of people are getting this mm -hmm. and starting to do these seminars. Uh, would you call it a seminar? Or you just call it like a health and wellness? Teaching, yeah. Yeah, it's, teaching. It, it's seven classes that we're having here in Branson. Yeah. Uh, and. Um, oh, I just noticed forward by my friend. Oh. Jordan Rubin. Yeah. All right, let's see what Jordan has to say. If Jordan likes it, it's got to be good. Jordan. He is the man. Well, he's in there. I can't find him, but there he is. It says forward by Jordan. Yeah. But uh, yeah, because God wants us to be healthy. You know, it's not just to, because we want to live longer, because we want to feel good. That's great. But my, my, what I really believe, and uh, I'm, I'm on my road. It's a journey. As you said, it's a journey to wellness yes, every day is. that I work towards it. And uh, it, it's more than that. It's so that we can be effective for God's kingdom here That's on earth. That's right. I mean, if we're just born to just uh, exist and then die to go to heaven, because everybody's talking about heaven, and I love heaven. Yeah. But, you know, what are you doing here on earth? You've got to yeah. be healthy to do that. Am I, that. Am I right in saying that's that? What, that's right. And that's what God told her, that uh, he wanted her around for the long run. Yeah. That's and what it is. And if she kept up the way she was going, she wouldn't be here for the long run. But yeah. he had, had uh, plans for her. Yeah. And uh, so that was her why that kept her motivated because <laughs> we've all uh, tried to turn over new leaves at different times and, and uh, you know, New Year's resolutions and all that, and then we wind up not keeping them. So there's a... Boy, I know. Has anybody ever done that? <laughs> Have New Year's resolutions, <laughs> yeah. didn't keep them? But there is really practical steps that we can do to yes. keep them. And yes. I'm so glad. This is at the Glory Barn. It's one of my yes. favorite churches in town. Uh, you know, Aaron and uh, Sheila Art are there at yes. the Glory Barn. And so you're part of that church, and you're going to be having those seminars start in, on July 18th, going through August every Monday night, right? Yes, yes. And I urge every church to do this, by the way, and here's why they're on, so it can inspire you, because all of us, now there are times we just don't feel good, and, and mm -hmm. we need to be effective in the kingdom. We got to be on our game, you know? I'm mm -hmm. wanting to do an outreach in Orlando to reach some of the victims' families that were killed oh, in that thing. Yeah. I want to go to some of the places in this world yeah. that God wants me to, and I can't do it if I'm laying sick with high blood That's pressure, right. high blood That's sugar, right. you know, going from doctor to doctor, medication mm -hmm. to medication, which mm -hmm. I think we can be totally off certain medications, you know, as we check with our doctor, yes. if we're living a healthy lifestyle. That's right. Yeah. I really believe that, and so I'm, I'm doing all the <laughs> preaching, but, but there's a connection between body, soul, and spirit. Yes. And so they unlock this kind of this connection or show yes, that. Tell yes. us yeah. what that means. I think a lot of times people separate the body from our spiritual life. Yes, ma'am. And uh, we can't do that. God made us uh, a complete package, and uh, one area affects the other. It does. And uh, we need to, this is the only body we've got. And uh, we need to take care of it. We need to be good stewards over it and treat it with the respect of what God has created. Right. I mean, the scripture that came to my mind when I read this and saw this was when Jesus was asked, you know, what's the greatest commandment? And he says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, 
soul oh, and your mind, mind. Your spirit and your mind heart so those three things just like there's a trinity of father son holy ghost there's a trinity of yes. our body mind and spirit mm -hmm. and uh, that means not only just to love him in our minds and to love him with our spirits of course that are full of the holy spirit once we're saved but but uh with our bodies with mm -hmm. our heart that our heart is pumping the right amount of blood am i am i right there yeah mm -hmm. absolutely the greatest commandment and that's mm -hmm. the way we love god by doing those things there are some actual real brother don do you have a scripture too that goes with this i have a, a scripture uh, in fact I, I got this this morning uh, it talks about our operation and what what we're about in in ministry and uh it's it's found in uh first corinthians 9 uh and the 24th verse and Paul is speaking about his body and about his uh, the the uh, purposes that he has. Yes. And it says, uh, "Do you not know that those who run in a race run all, mm -hmm. but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things." self-controlled in mm -hmm. all things yes sir now they do it to obtain a perishable crown but we an imperishable crown that's right good good word therefore i run thus not with uncertainty thus i fight not one that beats the air but i discipline my body and bring it into subjection lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Well, and therein is the key, the discipline of the body. I come, it comes, I believe, with disciplining our life, our spiritual life with the Lord, and disciplining our mind and not be distracted yeah. with those things of, that, are, that are lustful and mm -hmm. those things that are mm -hmm. earthly. And it, and it, it <coughs> falls hand in hand with the body. Uh, you get some practical motivating secrets on really on how to live this healthy and yes. free it says healthy and free which is awesome not only healthy for your body but you can be free from medications free yes. from from drugs uh, yes. smoking maybe uh, yeah. you know, you go, all kinds of addictions you're going to cover uh we don't cover the addictions per se what we cover is a lot of the understanding of what god has done for us and in us and who we are in him yeah. that gives us the ability to overcome whatever particular problem that we have in our life. Yeah. And sometimes don't even realize that we have. Come on now. But under the uh, guidance of the Holy Spirit, we sometimes see these things. Yeah. And so th that's what, what this is about. It covers food, but it is not a diet plan. It's not a weight loss plan. Good. It, it covers these things, but it covers health. Yeah. In uh, different aspects of getting enough rest yeah that that's, that's a, a high commodity these days for yeah, people yeah that is so important to health i've been told that by hundreds of mm -hmm. doctors or oh, maybe dozens not hundreds <laughs> but yeah lots of they all agree on that arrest is a key to yes, this whole thing god wants to help you so that you can be effective in the kingdom if you're in the ozarks in this area please go to the glory barn starting on july the 18th every monday night at seven o'clock they're going to be at seven Practice in heaven, mm -hmm. come on. And uh, it's he how to be healthy and free. And churches, you need to start this too. And as much as you have pot blessings, or they call them pot luck, but I don't believe in luck, <coughs> fellowship dinners, <laughs> they should have some healthy seminars as well. Uh, how we can really mind, body, and spirit. We, we focus on the spirit, a lot on the mind, but not so much on the body. It's almost like the acceptable addiction in our churches. And so I'm just telling it straight. No judgment. This is a no judgment zone. But uh, the truth of it is, how can we affect it? if we're in and out of the hospital all the time taking one medication after yeah. the other and God I just pray that right now you will help those that are listening within the sound of my voice I thank you for Don and Sue I thank you for the glory barn and pastors uh, the arts that, that, that they uh, have brought this to the table and brought this to our area and I just pray right now God that you will help those they're saying I do want to feel better I do want to be healthy is there a way you have made a way God and I pray that you will help them you will inspire them and encourage them as they call upon you in Jesus mighty name amen I believe that God will help you he's helped me I have gone down 60 pounds since I started on this journey it's been oh
I, I'm no hero. I, I just, because I, it's taken me a couple years, but it took me uh, 30 years to get over 300 pounds. And so now I'm staying under, all right? And I'm going down, not up anymore. The only time I'm going up is during the rapture. But <laughs> thank you guys here for coming. And uh, when you get in the middle of these seminars and have results and things, please come back and okay. tell us what's happening there. Sorry we're so short on time. But I wanted to sing this song, this song that's meant a lot to me, that's helped me. When I was single and needed a wife, God was there for me when I called upon his name. When I was sick in body and I called him. When I made my mistakes and I called upon him, he pulled me out. When I said, God, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's time to move on. And, and uh, from where I was, it's so easy. I'm comfortable there. But God, I want to move into doing my own television outreach for, to reach the world. And, and uh, God has helped me in every situation. You know what the key is? It's calling upon the name that's above every name. His name is Yeshua, but in this song I say his name is Jesus. So here's the song. I'm going to go over to the singing spot. Speak his name. Come on, give God a hand of praise. Amen. Oh, we praise you, God. I know he's here. Let his presence just cover you where you are right now. Let him be there for you right now. Let him touch you. Let him heal you. And let him give you the godly wisdom that he wants to give you to do what's right, to be healthy for Him. Speak His name. That's what you need to do right now. Speak His name. You'll never be the same when you say Jesus. So right now, speak His name. Or anytime, any place, speak His name. Your night will turn to day. Yeah, there's power when you pray. The answer's on the way when you say Jesus. Yeah, you can call his name right there, right now. The answer's on the way. Speak his name. Oh, yeah. Speak his name. Never be the same when you say Jesus. You'll never be the same when you say Jesus. Speak his name. Somebody speak his name. Your night will turn to day. I know there's power when you pray. My favorite part. The answer's on the way when you say Jesus. Anybody believe that today? Do you believe that in your heart? Amen. All of heaven pays attention and your circumstances, they're going to change. God's power is released when his name is said in faith. All your mountains begin to crumble, yeah. Strongholds are swept away by the power of His Spirit. The very moment that you pray. Come on, say His name with me. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh it's the name above all names my precious Jesus sing Jesus Jesus come on say his name with me Jesus I worship you Lord I worship and adore I bow my knee before my Savior and sense his presence right there where you are come on and worship him say Jesus my precious Jesus Jesus name above all names the name above all names my precious Jesus oh Jesus I love the name and adore I bow my knee before 
my Savior and my Lord. I love you, Jesus. Just in a service I was at last night, ears, deaf ears opened. Those that were hurting in pain in their legs were healed. Many miracles happened. Let it happen for you right now. As was testified last week, somebody watching this program, she got out of her wheelchair by the power of God. Let him heal you. Let him help you right now. Something about the name Jesus. Go ahead and speak the name Jesus. No other name but Jesus, our healer. That's why I worship you, I praise you, I worship and adore, I bow my knee my whole life before, my Savior and my Lord, I love you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank Jesus. We praise Jesus. Love the name that's above every name. I pray this program has helped you and uh, blessed you today. And I want you to live a healthy lifestyle so together we can reach the world. One way we'll do it uh, is through your help. Here's one way you, you can help us and we'll help you by sending you this great gift for $599, not six. Roll it. This amazing solar generator is easy to use, portable, and affordable. Keep one in your car for emergencies, camping trips, or tailgate parties. The included solar panel collects free sunlight and stores extra energy in its lithium batteries. Get one for your house to charge your phone, computers, or run your lights to lower your electric bill. Just a few years ago, a generator like this would cost thousands of dollars. Today, just $699, or two monthly payments of $350. It's 100% tax deductible and your satisfaction guaranteed. Call now at 209-44-KEVIN. We'll include two LED lights, AC and car chargers, USB connectors for your smartphones and iPads, one solar panel, and for a limited time, free shipping. For more information, visit kevinshorey.com or call us at 209-44-KEVIN. Thank you for your continued support. And like I said, thank you. Like I said before we leave, not 699. We haven't changed the numbers on there yet, but it's 599. And the second one for 499. Remember Jesus said, Jesus said this when he was asked, what is the greatest commandment? How, what, what's above all? He says, if you've done these things, then this is all the laws. This is all the things you have to do. That's all you have to do in this life other than love your neighbor as yourself. That's a whole nother sermon itself. But to love your God with all your heart, your physical being, with your spirit, with all of your spirit, and with all of your mind. And everything that we are, we are to give to him. So let's do it today. Would you give your whole heart, a mind, body, and spirit to him? And I promise you it'll go well with you and you'll fulfill all the law according to, to Jesus. And uh, that's really the most important thing in life. Remember, Jesus is the answer for the world today. And so accept him and I promise you, uh, you will not be disappointed. I'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's program. The zoo's coming! Yay!